Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Beth and Joe. I'd rather go blind. Let's see what they have to say. Something told me that it was over, baby. Yeah. When I saw you, when I saw you and that girl, you're talking. Uh almost immediately I was reminded of the artist Pink when just looking at her like they could be sisters or niece and aunt or something like she just something about her demeanor and her physicality like her stature reminds me of Pink uh she opened her mouth and she does not sound like Pink if you guys don't know who Pink is Pink is uh well she came out and she kind of was like stormed the R&B scene and since then, her music has uh, evolved a little bit um, to be more like pop-esque. Uh, but this woman, who I believe is, is Beth, not Joe, um, I could be wrong, but I'm going to go with Beth. Um, she has a kind, sweet, soulful voice. Um, I do know this song. I, I, I know Etta James has sung this song. I believe, I, I, I believe... <laughs> Tina Turner wrote this song and that's a random fact that I I like learned years ago I don't even remember like why I know that but I feel like this song Tina Turner wrote um but yeah she's got a stunning voice the band is gorgeous um yeah something deep down something deep down in my soul Go on and crack the roll When I saw you When I saw you And that same person in yours Was walking by And I'd rather I'd rather Ooh. Be a blind girl Baby Then to see you walk away, walk away from me, baby, don't leave me. I don't want to see you go. That kind of like raspy, growly thing she just did. Sheesh. Uh, I don't know what she was singing before this, but she's drenched. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell because obviously I have to uh, uh, alter it for copyright reasons. But she's sweating around her neck. Her hair is drenched as if she just got out of the shower and like towel dried it. It is wet. And so one can assume she's a pretty physical performer. Um, I feel like there's some rock star in there that I haven't heard yet. Um, just a little preview with that like rah, a raspy like it was pretty growly. Um, but yeah, she seems like she's a pretty physical performer. Cause you see, I, I love you so much. I don't want to watch you leave. You don't want to watch you leave. And another thing is one more thing And I another thing I just don't want to be free I'm scared to be by myself I was just, I was just Sitting here thinking Ooh. 
she dropped that microphone by her side and it sounded like it was right at her mouth like it was all the way down by her waist powers po powers powerful vocals <laughs> i cannot talk today you guys like that that is a powerhouse vocal right there that's insane listen About your sweet kiss and your, 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 your warm embrace. She is really taking her. I feel like this is like she's taking us to church. What just happened? What just happened? Oh my gosh, my computer just like wigged out. Anyway, I was saying I feel like she was really taking us to church. Like she um, literally. Like she's just. If you've ever been to like a, a church where they sing gospel music, sometimes they just completely divert from the original arrangement. And I've never actually heard this song. Um, I've never heard Edda sing it or anything. I just know that I that Edda sings it. So I'm not sure if she's completely leaving the arrangement, but it feels like she's getting caught up in, in, in wherever her spirit is taking her to sing it. And that happens a lot in the church. And that's what I feel like right now. That was so bizarre, y'all. I like y'all... I, I don't know, hi, if you're new here, I don't edit my videos, I do one take, and whatever happens, I sneeze all the time, like all kind of crazy stuff happens, but like, but my everything just glitched on me, but we're gonna just keep going in hopes that nothing has uh, messed up. But yeah, I just, I'm enjoying the fact that I feel like she's taking her time and she's like allowing the song to move through her in whatever way it wants to. Ooh, the whisper. I was sitting up, sitting up thinking about you. something about the melody of this song and now we've got this guitar crying on the track that reminds me of Tennessee whiskey and I don't know if it's the way she's singing it her styling her her the tone of her voice but there's something in here that makes me feel like Chris Stapleton I was born Tennessee whiskey like I feel like this the same stirring up of emotions happening it's interesting like, as soon as that guitar break happened, I'm like, oh, this is exactly what this reminds me of. Do y'all feel that? Is it just me? Am I the villain? It's so clean. It's so clean.
it can't just be me. Y'all, y'all don't hear how perfectly like a DJ could blend Tennessee whiskey in right there. And then all of a sudden the song shifts to Tennessee whiskey. That is so crazy to me. I don't know if it's the chords. I don't know what it is. That would be a cool uh like mash, mashup. That would be so cool. Do y'all feel me on that? Is it just me? <laughs> she is also so into it. This is church. This is absolutely church. This is a church service. This is a spiritual experience we are having right here. Are you kidding me? They are so lost in the music. The guitar is just weeping at us. She is literally moving in the wind. We are having and watching and experiencing a spiritual thing happen in music. And it doesn't have to be gospel church music. Like music has the ability and the power to do that. It really does to transcend you from where you are to wherever you're you really want to be like music is so powerful in that way and i feel like we are witnessing that happen this is nuts My girl looks like she just came out of the ocean. She is dripping. I said, I don't want to see a leaf. Please don't go. Well, wow. You hear you hear the organ? And I'd rather be a blind I know y'all heard the chorus from the organ. I know y'all heard it. Had to pull out the church cloth. Had to pull it out because listen. Listen. If it's one thing the organ's gonna do, it's gonna take you to church. I 100% believe what she's singing to. Like, I believe that she would rather go by, go blind. She is like, uh, no, I believe it. I believe it. And I'd rather go blind. I'd rather go blind. I'd rather go blind. Then you see you. Don't walk away. 
walk away Cause I'd rather go blind. That right there in that in the um the cover of this performance she looked like a mixture she looked like Kat Von D a little bit the makeup artist the tattoo artist who has a makeup line that was transcending is if I had to pick one word transcending it was great um I just really appreciate the amount of time she took to sing that, the amount of time the band took to play it. Like, it just felt like they let the music move however the music wanted to move, you know? That was great. All right, y'all. Go have the day you deserve. Peace.